Hey, Paul Akers here. I just want to show you our brand new Sawhood Pro. It's really an amazing product. Very compact, very small. I want to contrast this Sawhood with the original Sawhood. So the Pro with the original Sawhood. This is the Pro system right here, and this is the original Sawhood right here. Let me show you the difference in size. So this one's all folded up. This is the original one. So this is what you're dealing with in the back of your truck. I find this actually very easy, just hanging on the side of your truck, take it out, set it up very fast, very easy. So I'll show you how easy that is. You're just gonna stick it back here in the accessory hole, right there. And then once you have it in the accessory holes like that, then you simply release the Velcro that holds it together. Then you drop that back like that, and you're basically set up that fast. So that's the original Sawhood. Now let's do the same thing with the Sawhood Pro. We'll take it out of the bag. We've really done some very nice things on this. Number one, the carrying case is really cool. But the function and design of it is really, really great. And you'll see how that works right now. So it's basically spring steel. And it just pops apart just like this. And it pops up like that. Very simple, very fast. So fold it up, it's very easy. All you do is reverse your hands. This hand is going away, this hand's going like that. And then when you tighten it up just like this, you get it in as small a coil as possible, and then you can just stick it right back in the bag. Pretty fast, pretty easy. And again, if space is a big issue for you, this is the right saw hook. It just goes on there. Okay, so there you go. That's the Sawhood Pro, and that's the Sawhood. Now let's set up the entire Sawhood Pro on the saw. Let's just go through the process. So to take it down, I'm gonna first make sure I've released the material off the back side so it's not hanging up on the saw when I take it off. And I simply grab that like this, pick it off like that, drop it down, and again, the same procedure, you remember how I did it last time, very fast, very easy, and you're done. Now, to set it back up, simply take it back out, pick it up like this, bring it over the back side, first plug in one post into the, into the accessory hole right there, drop this down the back side, and then bring this one over, push it down in the accessory post, and bring the saw hood over just like that, and then bring this over and you're good to go. A couple things you might want to note is if you look down in here, you have a hole down here that you can stick a vacuum cleaner through, or you just let all the dust accumulate and go down into a box. That's my preference. I don't think you need a vacuum cleaner. We've done a couple really cool things here that I want to show you. We created a baffle in here. So as the dust gets blown back into here, it hits the baffle and stops it and drops it back down, so it's very effective. This material is a lighter weight material, so it can fold up really nicely. The other material is a heavier duty vinyl, and it's a little more rugged. In our shop here, we use the original saw hood because portability is not an issue. It's just a very rugged, durable saw hood, and it works fabulous. But if I was out on the job site and room was any bit of an issue, I would definitely use this one because it's just very compact and very small. So a couple of the features are, number one, the material's a little lighter, so it's very lightweight. And then the other cool thing is it's got these openers right here that allow you to control the size of the opening. Simply by taking that Velcro off, you can make a smaller hole. Or if you need a bigger hole because you have a larger saw or you're doing compound miters, look how fast and easy this works. You just take this up like this, boom. And you've already controlled the opening size. Another nice feature is look at the machined aluminum brace we have here. So this allows this to slide back and forth anywhere you want it. So if you need a wider opening, just slide it to the end like that, tighten up the knobs, and you can actually change the opening size and the shape of it very simply just by sliding this back and forth. So that's the difference between the Sawhood Pro and the original Sawhood. Basically portability and a little more lightweight. Both of them work great and both of them basically do the exact same job. Thanks a lot.